Good morning, good morning, everybody. Oh, Thursday morning, and I'm not at work. Yay! <laughs> the people I work for are taking a nice long vacation for the holiday. I am becoming pretty much of a uh, multitasker. Hi, Nick. I just got your message, and I'm, like, trying to clear it off as you popped in here. <laughs> there you go. I've been busy. I have messages. I have this. I've been trying to get that. I'm doing laundry in the background. It's crazy. Okay, what 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 am I going to get a kick out of? I can't wait. You're the best combo I get. I'm always happy when Nick shows up. Really? You have a teaching? Is this because you did that presentation? That's exciting. Woohoo! People would be lucky to learn from you, Nick. I'm telling you. They will be lucky to have you. I think a big plus is that you're not like 80 years old like some of the people you're you're like bringing a whole new generation into the art of um lettering i think it's amazing amazing love it that's exciting i'm so excited for you keep us updated on how that works out okay cuz that is a really cool I love when good things happen to people I like. <laughs> wow. That's big news. Look at that. That means you'll get free ink too, right? <laughs> big news. Oh my gosh. That's exciting. So you'd get to travel and all that as your, oh, uh, that'd be awesome. I, I don't, I've never asked, because I don't ask personal business, do you do another job other than your writing right now, or? Yep, if it works out, hopefully it will. At least it's a start of getting noticed. Ooh. I can't even imagine with unlimited ink that you'd what the stuff you'd be able to like come up and create and because you wouldn't be so nervous about wasting it. When you that's one thing that the digital art has done for me. I don't have to worry about wasting my paint anymore. And so it's really freed me up to explore like different things and try something that I probably never would have tried. And I, Yeah. I could imagine how much ink you use, but yeah, like if you didn't have to pay about it, yeah, if you didn't have to pay pay for the, you know, like if you were like, you had ink and it wasn't, you didn't have to think about your pocketbook, you know, about paying for it, you could be like, oh, let me, you might come up with your own new, you know, your own whole lettering. It, it doesn't, but it does. You can't tell me that the, um... Like that gold and silver ink and stuff is not expensive. Oh, and to answer my question, okay. I could see that, but I can and can't see that. <laughs> oh, see? Smart. So you can you could do halfway de you could survive halfway decent on your um, returns on the the investment stuff. Smart, smart. Wish I knew how to do that stuff more. I suck at math too. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's smart though. I know it's scary and smart at the same time, you know.
But that would be awesome if you get a job doing something you absolutely love. Then it's not going to seem like such a job. You get to travel around, meet all your fans. Really? That's so awesome. See, like, I wish I wish I was smart enough to do all that because I don't need a lot. I'm not a fancy, fancy girl. I just need to live a little comfortable, you know? But it'd be nice to have my money work for me, but I never got any money. <laughs> so, uh, bless you, you're lucky. Hi, Joel. How are you, Joel? for sharing. I appreciate it. I truly, truly do. Yeah. You know, but you don't, I, I, I find that you don't need a whole lot to be happy if you find the, what you what makes you happy. You know, like, you have the art, so you put your money into the art, and that makes you happy. You're, you're, you know, and that's your thing. You could do pretty well. Yeah, like, that's, that's true. But you go get that job, Nick, you can, um, you can get some of that big stuff. Like, I never wanted a boat until I moved to where I'm at. And so then, we, when we moved here, we wanted a boat. And so we spent four years and saved up for it. I mean, that's like, when you want something big... You just save up for it. Yep. I don't need no fancy car either. Hi, Eve. Thank you. Building it up. It's getting there. Once I get the face... The way I like it, the rest won't be as um, long. Thanks. I'm home today, so I'm planning to do a bunch of drawing. <laughs> These come along pretty cute. Um, I do and I don't. I mean, it doesn't take that long, and like half the time, I'm when I'm doing like the nitpicky stuff. I'm chatting with you guys, and it goes really quick. All right, Nick, go back to sleep. That's exciting news. I'll be sending you all the good vibes I can. Keep us updated. I'm very excited for you. And I don't really have to pay attention too much, Eve. Like, I mean, it's just the direction of my lines. I'm not like... The detail isn't super detail. Yeah. So I'm like... That's why I love when you guys come here and talk to me. Because... It can get boring if you're just sitting here by yourself. But usually if I'm by myself, I'm watching my DVR or something. <laughs> I'm watching TV. More or less, it's just playing around with it till I get it the way I want it to look. And sometimes that happens really fast, and sometimes I have a problem with it. But I always usually end up I always usually end up getting to where I want to be. <laughs> you know? You know, I, eventually I get there. Like I said, the fa I nitpick on the face because that's the whole character. Once I get past that, it's not as... I don't... Um, it's more about just getting a body form. So. You're doing your arm. Is it a new one or you're trying to fix up something else? You messed up. So then what do you have to work around the stain or something? Because that stuff, you know. On it, okay. So I love doing the designs. I don't know if I'm ever going to be brave enough to actually put it on 
skin. So <laughs> I like to be doing the art part. The like the the designs are very um, therapeutic for me at night. I like just doodling because I can't sit still. I have you should see right next to my bed over here. I have a box with paints and pens and the bottom on my foot. Yeah, maybe. I have a box with like paints and pens and uh, pencils and I just, even when we're sitting here like watching TV at night, I just have to bring my sketchbook out and doodle around in it. <laughs> Drives my husband a little nuts. But I'm like, I can't, I can't just, you know, I, I'm such a multitasker, I guess. Okay, so he has like these patches of white here. And this isn't for somebody, so I don't have to worry about this being like super um, specifically marked. Yeah, I think a lot of us artist people are, and um, my, my, my issue is I live with a non-artist. <laughs> so I don't think he quite understands um, the need to uh, draw or how I look at things. So that's a hard part is when, you know, artist people think differently, I think. Artistic minds, you know. You look at things differently and uh, want to capture things and spend the time like looking at these details and I think people who are not artistic kind of go, huh? <laughs> like we'll be out walking and my husband's like, why do you want to stop and take a picture of that leaf? And I'm like, don't you see how interesting it looks? Look at that. <laughs> Right. Like, don't you see that pattern? It's so cool. And look how that, look how it just curves over there. Or look at those colors. That's amazing. And he's like, you just find some, like, the, you know, I, I think that's one of the things he loves about me, though, is that I do find, like, the beauty in just, like, everything out there. You know, I do take the time to stop and smell the roses and look at the petals. You know? Yeah. I do take the time to stop and smell the roses and look at the petals. <laughs> but sometimes, you know, after you do after you do it for um I'm sure after going for a walk with me <laughs> for an hour or so it gets a little yeah, I do literally. Or it gets a little like okay already, it's another leaf. <laughs> Just <laughs> you know. Oh, that's why I'm having such issues. My sketch is so bright. I need to bring it down. So I can see what I have. Alright, there we go. My sketch was getting in my way too much, I think. I needed to bring it down. Oh. But yeah, totally, he, and I understand too, you know, but it's just like, yeah, I can't help it. We live where there's like tons of nature, Eve, so we kick the, the dogs for a walk. I'm just like amazed, and he's like, you see this every day. I'm like, I don't understand, it changes every day. It changes. Okay, I'm just going to soften this up a little. I don't want to get rid of the lines. I just want it to um, look fluffy and not so harsh. So I'm just tapping this water brush to fill it in a little bit. <laughs> I think it's a creative personality, you know? I 
I don't like going to the stores. Okay. And I, of course, will come back and work on all these details probably another 20 times. Alright. As I'm multitasking. Yep. Plus, I always want, it depends on the store, like, Sometimes I just want, like, one of everything. <laughs> I, I'm not a big shopper. Like, I don't really like to shop. So, when I do shop, it's like if I find a shirt I like, it'd be like, okay, I'll take that in this color, this color, and this color. It's pretty... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't want to buy like 20, yeah, I don't want to buy like 20 million things, but you take me to a craft store, or like Michael's or something, and I'm like, oh, I want that pen, and that pen, and that pen, I want that paint, that paint, that, I want one of every, every color. It's so hard to make a decision. But also, um, I don't need to be, but I am pretty frugal. Okay? I'm very conscious about what I choose to spend my money on. Probably because I didn't grow up with money. So, like getting a big deal, getting a deal on something is still, it's like a high. It's like a game. What kind of deal can I get? Okay, I need to add. I know I love garage sales. Where I live now, we do like, they have like citywide garage sales all summer, and cities will put on like garage sale events, and it's heaven. <laughs> I get all my dog's toys at garage sales. I just buy um, all the stuffed animals for like 25 cents, and then I put them in a bag. And sometimes they have to cut out eyes or something, but when my dogs, when you come home from the store, they get something from the toy bag. They get a new toy. My dogs have more toys than most kids do. <laughs> I have not gotten a lot of furniture from garage sales. Decorations, yes. Not a lot of furniture just because, um... When I do want furniture, I usually don't have the patience to wait around to find it. And we have a lot of thrift stores around here, too. So I like the thrift stores, too. Which I was doing last week. For my birthday, we went to a bunch of shopping like that. Alright, so now I need to put some white just on the edges and a little, and this will form some sections that I'm trying to create here. But dog's faces are pretty symmetrical, you know, like what's on one side, you kind of have to do to the other. So... Alright, put a couple of the... Uh, a little bit of white highlights in here. Okay. Let me start back and see how that's blending. Sorry if I wasn't, I missed a comment. I'm not meaning to. I have people sending me messages and. Uh, oh. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I, be, I, I just got a job, so that's cool. Actually, it's a re-job. A re-job, I call it. A re-job. I already did the 
one of the brides that I've painted, she wants another copy of her painting. So I just have to print it out and then embellish it. That's so cool. Yeah. What, um, she wants it for her grandmother. So luckily I always keep. Yes, I do. Like, I would do commissions. Um, this one's just for me more for practice because I don't have anything kind of going on. And I just always keep drawing and practicing. But, let's see, where is... I just finished this one. This is for somebody. This is um, Neo and Trinity. I just finished that. And then... This was for um, a girl named Tia. Thank you. This is Tia. This is for Tia. She lives in Las Vegas. Um... This is the bride. This, she just ordered another copy of this. This is the one she just is um, talking to me about today. Ties? Yeah, see? Anyway, so she wants me to reprint this again. And then what happens is when I print them out, my fashion ones, after I print them out, I'll take um, like 3D paint or paint with glue, you know, something to stick up. And I'll, I'll paint all the flowers with acrylic 3D paint. And then, like, the rosettes on her dress will get all painted up and textured. And then, like, for her crown and stuff, we'll get um, glitter and everything. And I usually paint a couple lines on the veils. And so, I'm going to reprint and paint this for her because she wants a copy for her grandmother. Because she liked the one I gave her. I actually gave this to her. This is my neighbor, Lauren. And um, when she came back from her honeymoon, I had this waiting for her. So, that was a surprise. She didn't know I was doing it. And then she liked it so much, she wants to have another one done for her grandmother. So, that worked out. Yeah. Well, who else do I have in here? Um, oh, this is Cindy. This is my son's um, best friend's new wife. I, that was a gift I just sent to her, too. That was a present. Um, and I sent the digital file to her her mother-in-law. So my son was in their wedding. We went to the wedding and gave him a gift, but I sent her this after the fact. I was taking all these pictures during the wedding trying to get a good, you know, a couple good pictures of her dress and everything. She probably thought I was weird. <laughs> she was like, oh, why is she taking all this stuff for me? And then, this is one of my favorites. I just did this recently. This is, um, a famous ballerina called Aisha Ash. So this is an illustration of her. Oh, what else? Do I... She asked for that. Yeah, I love that one. And I just finished this one. You've probably seen that one posted. This is a Russian ballet ballerina called Alina Samova. And she saw it, but she doesn't speak much English. She said she just liked it. Where um, Aisha... Aisha sent me um, an email and asked for a copy, so I sent her a copy, the digital copy to Aisha Ash. She got a digital copy of that one, and then she sent me a nice letter, so that was kind of cool. I also have a cat I'm working on. I do cats, but not so much, but look, I used to do like really liney stuff, like I started out doing more graphic stuff like this. Oh, get out of her face. And then I slowly started morphing into doing more of a painter style. So, I still do like this sometimes. If you get a good picture of its face, probably. I've never done a hamster. Oh, get some good pictures. I like, um... I usually ask for like six or seven pictures if possible because I'll morph them together, you know. But if you could get, the eyes are important. The eyes and the face are important. And good lighting. Good lighting and a good picture of the face and then I can get the character.
You'd be surprised. But yeah, get a, get a little face with a little, you know, couple face pictures. I can usually, I call it Frankenstein. I can Frankenstein something together. <laughs> like these two dogs, they weren't sitting like this in a picture. Yeah, they weren't sitting like this in a picture. I, and... I took different, like, a photo of the body, and then a photo of the face, and another couple parts of his body and his face to put this pose together. So, this was, um, probably five pictures, like, morphed together. <laughs> Thank you. But, yeah, that's what people don't understand. Don't just send me a picture, send me, like, as many pictures, like, you know, a dozen pictures. I'll sort through them. I'll sort through... Thank you. I could probably do both. Get a picture of them. I sort through them and, you know, figure it out. Alright, back to what I was doing. Probably I could do an art trade as I am working on an art wall. This is SJ's up there. Do you see? I have SJ's up there. Oh, my camera hates this light. It's SJ up there. And then these two are from Karen Orr. The rest are mine. <laughs> the rest are mine. My first, my first dollar over there for my logo I did. But um, this is, this is, uh, oh gosh, the light's terrible. That's a, pencil drawing I did of my dog China who's passed. She's not here no more. There's my logo I made. But, yeah, I have a couple people's stuff. Yeah. Look, I draw everybody else's dogs. I have two dogs I have of my own I haven't drawn yet. <laughs> yeah, sure. I need to That's the only problem with Periscope. I have so much fun um, talking to everybody. My work goes very slow. Ooh. He probably just wants you to do what he probably wants it to be you. I do the same thing, just to be aware. Like, especially when I'm just collecting. I want it to be um, a part of your art, you know? Like, I want it to be you. So I don't, I try not to tell people, I'm like, just think about me a little bit and do something, and <laughs> that came out nice. Yeah, some people are like that. Some people are exactly like they have a need for something, um, and it depends on what the purpose of it is, you know. Eh. It's true. He's not too hard. I know SJ pretty good. Um, I've known him probably almost a year now. And he's pretty easy. He just likes having um, whatever, you know, you want to do. Try to think of his style. Just like I have somebody doing the art trade for me right now, and they didn't know what to do. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, I do dogs, and I do dancers. Do one of those in your style. Let me see. Or, you know, something like that. It's not hard. I have two dogs. They're in my profile picture, I believe. It's probably the easiest way. Let me see. I, I have a thing. I don't know. Oh, Lord. What the, I don't want to do that. Full size. Thank you. Minimize. Um, I, oh, there's my dogs. <laughs> there's me and my dogs. It's, this is Chewy, and that's Coco. She's a little bigger now, though. That's me and my puppies. All my reference photos. Okay. Yeah, do that.
These are big, fluffy ears. Alright. I'm not too familiar with dog, but see, I, like, I'll draw these. Like this, I'm not so worried about the markings because this isn't somebody specific dog. Um, I'm working my way through. Call me crazy, and it's probably going to take me the rest of my life. But I'm, I'm working my way through the AKC um, kennel breeds and also the cat breeds. I'm just starting the cat breeds. I'm in the very first breed a cat. So it's just to keep me um, keep me working on uh, drawing and practicing and being familiar with uh, different um, animal breeds. Because like I find the dogs are easier once you start knowing some of their... Okay, great. When I get off, when I take my first break in a little bit when my laundry's done... I'll do it, because today I'm going to be doing an art, art day, an art, art day, because I'm normally at my nanny job, but they have a long weekend this weekend, and so I got the day off. Aww. Yeah. Alright. Hopefully that cream color will start blending and show through. Maybe I might have to add a little more detail on there. Okay. I'm still drinking my coffee, so I, I need to... My, my scope... Oh, look at me. My scoping game will be a little more on in an hour or so. I know, like... Coffee. Oh, <laughs> uh, it's coffee with um, Hills Brothers English toffee cappuccino mixed in. Love it. So I buy what I do is I buy the instant cappuccinos at the store, but I I don't make them with um, water. I make it with coffee. So, it's like a double, I guess it's like a double coffee, right? <laughs> so, I don't use warm water for my instant cappuccino. I use hot coffee, and I use the cappuccino like a creamer. Yeah. And then the other secret I have, this is the other coffee secret for you. If you don't already do this, try it. You know how, see I don't, I don't have a Keurig, I don't really like them because one, they don't make coffee cups big enough for me, like the, I'd have to use like three Keurigs for my coffee. And then two, uh, I, it just, I, I just don't want to pay for all the little individual cups and everything. So, but what I do is when I have coffee and I have, like, leftover coffee at the, you know, that I'm not drinking, I pour, I have special, um, ice cube trays and I make, I make, um, coffee ice cubes. And so then I use those ice cubes either for, I'll make myself iced coffee, like an ice, iced coffee, or, um, sometimes I'll put them, yeah, sometimes I'll put them in a blender with some ice cream, and I'll make, like, an ice cap. Okay. Yeah, I have a, I have a freezer bag in my freezer full of, um, coffee ice cubes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you. And then, so, like, in my coffee, because I don't like it super hot, I can't drink it when it's really hot. So, I'll put a coffee ice cube into my coffee, and then it cools it down a little, but it doesn't water it down. Hi, Karen! And then, like, I'm in the land of Tim Horton over here, and I'm addicted to their ice caps. 
but the ice caps are like, yeah, see, the ice caps are like three, 350 or something. I mean, it's crazy for like an ice cap. So I kind of figured out how to make my own. Yeah. I just got a, I got a, actually I went to Walmart and I got um, an ice cube tray that actually has like a flexible bottom to them. So you can just push out. It has like a little flex and you just push them out. But yeah, I just pour the coffee into an ice cube tray and put the ice cube tray in my, um, my freezer. Bamo! Blow your world, your coffee world. <laughs> See, not only do you get to watch art here, you get to have tips on coffee, and we can chat about all sorts of stuff. Okay, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm giving away my top, my coffee tips. Yep, win win. The the um, yeah, you take like a blender, but you need a decent blender that can um, you need a decent blender that can like grind up ice cubes really good. You put a couple of the um, coffee ice cubes in your blender, and then okay, and then you put a little bit of um, cold like cooler coffee, like you know your leftover coffee. And if you get the cappuccino flavors, that's cool. Or you take like chocolate syrup and like put a little chocolate syrup in there. And then um, you either need like a cream, but I prefer to use vanilla ice cream. <laughs> and I put it in my blender and it's like an ice cap. <laughs> it's it's a like a a frappe. Yeah, you ever go to McDonald's and get, like, the coffee for pays or whatever? It's kind of like that. Yeah. Very, very yummy. So, I get Hills Brothers Instant Cappuccinos, and they have, like, a double mocha. Yeah. Yep. They have, like, a double mocha and English toffee, and, like, around Christmas time, they'll have, like, a peppermint um, coffee, chocolate mint. And so you can try it. Put a little bit in there and it just makes like a, but with your frozen coffee and your ice cubes. So you use, instead of using regular ice, you use your coffee ice cubes so then it doesn't water down the coffee flavor. And you don't waste your leftover coffee. That's right. Uh-huh. So my leftover coffee doesn't get poured down the drain. It gets poured into ice cube uh, trays. It's genius, and it appeals to my um, don't waste anything personality, because <laughs> I don't like to waste stuff. So that appeals to that for part of me. You? Yeah. It's because I don't like the taste of regular coffee. I've never liked reg like I never liked the taste of coffee. But I really wanted the caffeine kick because I was really dragging ass like in the afternoon. I was when I I'd be picking my kids up from <laughs> I'd be picking my kids up from school. I'm waiting in like the pickup line and I'm like fought, passing out in my car. It was it was terrible. So I was like, oh, gotta figure something out. And um, then I like all the expensive coffees, but they are expensive, you know, like all the flavory stuff. It's like, man, I'm going to pay, go to Starbucks and pay six bucks for a cup of coffee just because I want coffee. So I figured out how to make my own. <laughs> Necessity. Yep. I used to make coffee with um, another trick, too. I, I used to um, take hot cocoa mix like the hot chocolate packets, and use coffee instead of water to make the hot cocoa, too. That's good. And then you have a mocha. 
<laughs> so like your little Swiss Miss packets make it with coffee instead of water. So is it in the sketch level? I don't know what level that was. I have a line. I'm not sure what level it's at. So we have to do a check now. Turn off the nose. It's not on that line. Face. It must be on the face. So let me get I cover it up. Yes. I hate that. I had to figure out what line I'm on. And I always forget to change my layers. <laughs> so they get all messed up. <laughs> it's okay. It's the coffee chat with Kathy. Guarantee you're going to be like, why wasn't I drinking coffee like this all the time? And then you don't have to pay like four bucks to get one at the store. Because that's how much they'll charge you. But Starbucks, I think, is even more. All these messages keep popping up on my, fa my page. There we go. So, besides drinking coffee, what's anybody else doing today? <sighs> coffee hour, yeah. Except, I'm not home all the time to do coffee hour. Otherwise, I would do something, you know, where people could... Right, I'm not always home. Well, I'm expecting pictures. I know you'll post pictures in later in the group, so... I'm just going to fiddle with this dog until I get bored, because <laughs> I do. When I get bored, I have, what do I have? I have, I have other things online. So I have this cat, this cat sketched up. I have another dancer sketched up. And, oh, I have another Flower and Dragonfly sketched up. So those are in the works. That's up and coming. I have to do some um, eyes on those for Saturday, though. So tomorrow, when I'm home, I will be prepping for Saturday. And I'm doing two scopes on Saturday. And I need two separate projects. So, that'll be fun. That'll be fun! Then Penny wants me to join in on Mondays. I don't think I'm ready for Monday Monday yet. No, yet. This dog doesn't have as much black showing because his ears turn the other way. I just want a little edge. I'm making this part up. Making this part up because it's really not in my reference photo. But I want that little black edge here, little, just a little bit. Alright. And we'll bring this one over. I'm sure, if, I don't even know if Karen's still here. Karen's still here? She's probably gone. She's so busy. If you want some amazing art, she hasn't been scoping a lot though lately. 
Then you follow Karen or... She's been so busy she hasn't had time to be on Periscope. She's living the artist's dream. Living the artist's dream there. Okay. I want some of this hair from this layer to come in over there. And now I need a gray to come out to... Show the shape in this ear a little bit. There's so much hair in their ears, you don't really see the little air, the ear part. It's all hair. I want to make it a little darker. All right. Here's my reference photo. Oh, that's okay. Your heart needed attention. Huh. I talk to myself, so I'm still talking if nobody's here. Do you, this is what I could do Monday. I'm going to save this. Watch, I'll show you really quick. Let me save this. Save. I need to get steadier with my pen. I almost think it'd be easier drawing with the henna stuff because it like kind of squishes out and flows out a little easier. My little squirt bottles of paint don't work great, so I'm going to have to try a cone with paint maybe. Is that how you paint? You put your paint in a cone? Okay. I'll have to play around with it a little bit. But... I do have this. Only got 11. I'm just getting new paper. This is how I get paper. I need some paper. I, I'm waiting on paper to get delivered to print on paper, but I have um, a sample pack from a place called Red River coming. Yeah, I have like the 3D paint, right? So it's nice and thick. Okay. I mean, I'll have to play around with it. I did a couple things, but... Alright, so what I have is this really awesome deal here. Okay. Where I can go like this. <laughs> I can go like this. And then... I can go like this. And I can get in there. And so all I have to do... <laughs> and all I have to do is... Do this. <laughs> so I don't think anybody would really appreciate that though. <laughs> They'd be like, um, yeah. This is fun to do, though. Probably. I, I, I've been drawing in my sketchbook. Let 
even drawing my sketchbook. It's just, you know. Can't watch it. I saw somebody doing this online though. Like on Instagram, I think she had it. And I was like, okay, well that's not hard. It's like the easiest thing in the world. Can you imagine just draw it nice and perfect. It's fun, though. I know, it's fun. We can't mess up. And then, like, if you wanted to do just stuff like a uh, mirrored, you can reduce your sizes. So, I can come over here with my tool and say, okay, now I'm going to do something bigger, so I only want 10 spaces. And then it'll adjust it so that I can do bigger. See, nice and easy. It's just a kaleidoscope setting in my program. That's it. <laughs> I have a setting right here. It says kaleidoscope. <laughs> So I can, I can do this all day. <laughs> See, so sometimes I do have fun doing this. I'm just going to go through the color spectrum here. That's it. Went back to the beginning. Ta da! <laughs> Simple. And then when you 
take it off. Um. Need it? La la la. Possibilities are endless. So I can I could do this. Oh yeah, I could I see I could do this then. See, then you can do I took more time, it'd be better. So see, I can mirror. If I do it like this, it'll be on both sides. <laughs> See? I'm just getting sloppy now. But yeah, I can do all that. You can mirror it. I can, um... I have mirrors and kaleidoscope. And then when you kaleidoscope, see, it, it starts at three. So it's, yeah. See how small my Mandela is still, though? This is only, a, that's all I did. So it's still only that small. Yes, I can zoom in and get very, very detailed. But that's crazy, right? I don't know, you'd have to look what program do you have. It's fun. I play with it and it's great when my nieces and my nephews come because, oh, this is Corel Painter. So, but um, I have my nieces and my nephews and I put that on there for them and they love that. The other thing that's fun to do with kids is this. And this is a total cheat. I don't do this though. Adobe probably has it and something like that. Do a search. Look it up. This is the other thing that's fun to do. Alright, so I'm going to make a beautiful painting before your eyes. I never do this. Okay. Let's do the talk. Hi, I'm just playing around. I was, uh, I was showing Eve some of my, um, tricks of doing um, I, I did a kaleidoscope for her. <laughs> so this is the other thing I do with my nieces and nephews. I let them do this. And basically no matter where they kind of draw it at, they're going to end up with a picture. I don't let them know what picture it is. So I'll put in a picture of something, and then I let them just put the cloner over it. And it, it's kind of like those magic scratches, you know? You don't know what you're going to get. 
and they have fun with that. Yeah. So this is a chalk setting of of that painting. So I just white it out, and then it'll it'll clone it digitally, and they can play around with it. And it moves, I mean, it moves, like, they can smear it up to a point. So, like, when my, my little five-year-old nephew comes over and he wants to do computer art, I just throw something on there for him to do. And um, he has an art piece and he gets all proud of himself. <laughs> it just gives him something to do because I don't have kid toys. I don't have kid stuff here anymore. And they come to visit me, and, they, and it's like, okay, well, Kathy doesn't have little kid stuff here anymore, because all my kids are older, they, and, yeah, and then, you know, they want, my, my niece, you know, they come and stay, because they live out of state from here, so when they come and visit me, it's usually for, like, a long weekend or something, and then, uh, they want to get into my kids' video games and stuff, and they make my own kids crazy. So I have to find things. We do we do art stuff here. They come to Kathy's house and do art camp. <laughs> I let them dig around in my supplies. I can always go get more supplies, you know. I can't always have my nieces and nephews be five and six years old. Alright, back to business. Back to business. I'm not, I'm off, so off track. I was having so much fun. <laughs> Eve and I were just chatting about coffee and Mandela's and I showed her the kaleidoscope and we were just having a great little chat. But yeah, they, they, they'll, they won't be little forever. You got to work. You know, she just got into work and she gets to go on Periscope and... <laughs> Ooh, I have my coffee. We were talking about coffee. What kind of coffee do you drink? I have all sorts of coffee secrets in this scope. Oh, that's nice. Nobody there. Oh. I had to turn my notifications off because they were making me crazy. I have, like, the OCD, and I wanted to watch everybody and not miss anything. <sighs> New Dunkin' Donuts. So I, we have Tim Hortons here that drive me nuts, and they're so expensive, though. So I was talking about how I um, learned to make my own specialty coffees. Mmm. You see, I don't, I can't drink, I can't drink regular, I don't like, I never used to like the taste of coffee. I'm a little better at the taste of coffee now, but I still like the expensive coffees, because I like the caffeine kick, you know? There's Eve. So I was telling her about my little coffee tricks. So I don't have to spend five dollars on a cup of coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Yeah, it's, it's, when you look up, what's funny is, this is what's funny is, I get into all this detail on this, but it's not a portrait of the face. I mean, it's literally like an 8 by 10 of a full body. So, in real life, this is going to be super small. Who's going to see it, right? But I know it's there. But it's really just when you zoom in, you could see all the lines. It's kind of like an impressionistic painting. I mean, you could still see all the little hash mark paints and the colors. But when I do do a portrait, they, I print it out and mail it to them. But I also email the digital file. So I do like it to be a decent high-res digital file. Because then they can take it. And if it's their dog, I mean, they can take it and have it printed on a coffee mug or a t-shirt or 
whatever they want to do once they have the file. I just charge for the, the work. <laughs> once the work's done, it's yours, you know. Except like that bride who called where she wants me to, um, I'm only charging her half price because I'm not charging for the whole drawing because I already have the drawing. I told her I already have that drawing and I get it for her for free in the first place, but um, I don't have to redraw it. I just have to reprint it. She wanted it a little bigger, but I can't print bigger, but I told her I would help try to look for it. You know, but she said, no, the regular size, it's good. I, you know, she'll just frame it out. And I said, okay. But since I already did the drawing, I'll just charge you half price, and that's just for me doing the painting on top of the drawing. Because for the fashion illustrations, um, I'll print them out. And uh, I'm still looking for the paper that I'm going to order and use. I have a sample pack coming. But I'll print them out, and then I paint on top of it with texture paint. And add glitter if necessary, if, you know, it seems the right thing to do. So I just charging her to print it out and paint it. So I said, oh, half price, half the work, half price. Plus she's my neighbor. I felt bad even asking her for anything, but I already gave her one for free. <laughs> I'm such a terrible business person. Oh my lord. Because mostly I just like to make people happy. Anybody else have that problem? Yeah, it's like, oh, you really like it and you want to, and it makes me happy that somebody's happy. Good. And then I have like those people who are like, oh yeah, uh, give me money for. Yeah, give me money for my Kickstarter. Give me money to be my friend. I'll, you know, if you if you're you're my friend on here, or I'll tell you how I do it if you pay something. You know, I I can't do that. I'll tell you everything about me for free. <laughs> I mean, seriously, I would never ask somebody. I would I would never ever ask somebody. To pay money just to like hang out with me on some social media thing or something, and I've seen that, and I'm just like, really? And I can't believe people actually do it. Yeah, I, I people do it, I guess. But I'll tell you exactly how I do stuff if you ask the right questions. I'm gonna try, I'll tell you what I'm doing, what program I'm using, what blunder. I don't care. You can. I I hope somebody. I guess what I would just hope is that, hey, you do a drawing or you try to, if I inspire you to try to do something like this, email it to me so I can see it. That's all. I want to see that you did it. I want to see what you did. Alright. Now I have to figure out my transition. Yeah. And then, and then I'll, I'll help you figure it out if you have problems, too. I've had people do that, send me pictures, and I'm like, oh, well, that's really a good start, and then this and that. And, or how about trying this? Or, yes, it's a doggy. Hi. So. Okay, go to work. We'll see you. I'll see you around the social media neighborhood for sure, I know. Oh no, it's making you crazy. Why? Because it's just not looking the way you want it to. I hate when that happens. But sometimes, sometimes Eve, you just have to accept the way it's wanting to look. I think she's talking about a henna tattoo. So that's good. I mean, it's not permanent if she hates it, right? <laughs> That's what I like. That's the appeal about the henna, too. You know, you don't ever have to get bored with the design because in a few weeks, you could just change it. Hi, good morning. Have a good day. This is a bonus day off for me, so I'm very happy today. So 
I get to sit here and paint all day, and I don't have to be at work, and I'm not really doing, I am doing a little housework, even though I shouldn't, I should totally say, up. Oh, I wasn't here, it wouldn't be getting done, so I should just act like I'm not here, but I, I can't do that. Alright, I'm still just really working on the shapes. After I get this whole shape done, I will probably um, come back and nitpick a little bit on the shading on his face. But, I mean, it's looking alright. Yes, I do. Yeah. I'm on a, a 2S Pro tablet, and it comes with this nifty little pen. And I have, right now I have a spring-loaded nib in there. So if you look really quick... I don't, I don't want to be on there, do I? Well, I can erase it. It'll... See, it comes in and out. It's a little spring-loaded in there. I have a bunch of different tips, but I like the spring-loaded. Or the felt. Yeah, I got it for Christmas, and then ever since last January, I've been teaching myself how to do this. I'm still not through the manual, so I do not know everything that Corel Painter does yet. I probably discovered a few on my own from just playing around, but there's a, I know there's a lot of stuff it does that I don't even know what it does. <laughs> I'm on like page 380 something of a 700 page manual. Alright, oh my face. I'm just trying to decide on what spot, to, where I should start putting another layer in. Maybe. I'm talking to myself, size, so. Let me bring it down a little bit. Maybe this middle part. Alright. And I'm just trying to decide on my layers. Because the layers do help protect, like, something I might want to not um, get blended in. Which is the one, one of the digital things I do use, but for the most part, I paint like I would be painting on a regular canvas. But, I do have the t a few tools that I figure, why shouldn't I use them, right? Alright. So it's kind of nice because, like, I can put the body behind the face. And so then I can blend way over here but still keep my crisp lines on the face to differentiate it without worrying about them. Not that I can't do it if I was um, drawing it on paper. I could do it if I did it all on one layer. It'd just take longer and i just have to nitpick at it a little bit more. You know. That's all. But I, I can already tell. I'm going to have to go back and probably add in some more grays. And... But his face is looking pretty good. What do you guys think? Right. So see, I have these... Oh! I have these layers. I never draw on my canvas layer. Because this is the one layer that if I click on it, I cannot just delete. So I have my sketch, which um, is very light at the moment. And I sketch, on, I paint on top of my sketch. But that will be deleted too, so this will be gone. And then see, I have the eyes on its own level. So once I do those eyes, I don't want them to get messed up with like blending or anything. So I just do that to protect them. I have the ears on their own level behind the face, just to help keep this level nice and crisp in front of it. I don't know why I have the nose on the own level, and really it's not, because I think I have the nose, and, oh it is, see, I don't know, I think I just forgot to draw it, but see like, the ears, and then for some reason I have the mouth that's on the same level as the eyes. I don't know. It doesn't make sense because I don't take the time to do it like I should. <laughs> I don't take the time to label everything like I should. Alright. 
But my laundry's done, so that means it's time for my first break. I know it looks like I didn't get a whole lot done, but I did kind of. Um, I'm probably going to take a break, do some laundry, um, figure out what I'm going to prep for dinner, and then I'll probably be back later. I might, I might be working on um, the cat to start the eyes for the cat eyes. I don't know. We'll have to see if I feel like doing this guy again or not. So, I'll be on later, guys. Thanks for spending some time with me. And come check me out later. And once again, you can always follow me at any of my social medias here. Well, let me take it over so you can see it. <laughs> feel free to contact me, follow me, send me a message, whatever. I'm open to it. Have ever I, bleh, I can talk. I need another cup of coffee. Hi, bye, bye, Eve. I'll see you in a little bit. Hope you have a creative day. I hope that tattoo works out. Send a picture. See ya!